1984 was the year that the Olympics were held in Los Angeles. Van Halen released their greatest album ever, and the best dangerous game bullet in the world was born, the Swift A-Frame. Prior to 1984, dangerous game hunters had a choice between what was known as softs and solids. Most softs for big game were just jacketed cup and core bullets. Bitter root bullets existed at the time, but they were produced in extremely small lots and weren't made in big bore calibers. Then in the 1980s, Nosler stopped making the partition for big bores. And at that time, there was really little to no dangerous game bullet options available. Dangerous game hunters were forced to use crappy softs that were too fragile for anything but a perfect broadside shot on a buffalo. So the softs were always followed in the magazine with non-expanding bullets made to penetrate deep on follow-up shots. Hunters at the time thought to themselves, what if you took a big caliber Nosler partition and bonded the core of it like a bitter root bullet? Well, in 1984, that wish was granted and the Swift A-Frame was available to the public. The Swift A-Frame is basically a bonded partition with a different jacket design. The bullet was just an instant hit and was soon followed by the development of the trophy bonded bear claw and the Barnes X bullet. By the 1990s, the A-Frame was becoming extremely popular and production capacity was improving at Swift to meet the increased demand for these bullets. Even though Federal was already heavily marketing their trophy bonded bear claw, the Swift A-Frame was doing work in hunting camps from Alaska to Zimbabwe improving their worth. Word was spreading fast that the A-frame was capable of penetrating deep on buffalo, moose, and grizzly bears, leaving behind huge wound channels and the quickest kills that they've ever seen. The A-frame became the favored bullet of Alaska guides and African professional hunters. The dual core design of the A-frame might look like a partition, but these bullets actually perform drastically different. On the partition, the front core expands very rapidly and usually fragments, while the rear core keeps driving through deeper, often tumbling as it keeps penetrating. This makes the partition one of the best bullets ever made for thin skin medium game. The front of the A-frame is actually bonded and it expands in a more controlled manner all the way back to this internal partition and it stops there. It does this though without losing mass and it keeps tracking in a straight line as it penetrates deep. This makes the A-frame the perfect bullet for really tough animals. African PHs in particular noted that the A-frame would penetrate deep into animals without over penetrating like a solid or X bullet would do and do collateral damage while hunting herd bulls. At the same time, the A-frame would mushroom really good and do massive internal damage to the animal without breaking apart at all. Even today, African PHs recommend the Swift A-frame over any other hunting bullet for buffalo. The weight retention and strength of the A-frame is just amazing. The A-frame just thrives in situations that require a bullet to smash through thick hide and bone. This is a 400 grain A-frame that I killed a buffalo with last year. It impacted at just over 2200 feet per second out of my 416 Remington Magnum. 
remember that's impact velocity, not muzzle velocity. Okay, so this is the 400 grain swift A-frame that killed my buffalo. You can see the telltale swift A-frame hollow bottom right there. But uh, look at that perfect mushroom. I mean, that is textbook performance right there, but how well did it hold together? Well, let's see. I got my Charge Master all calibrated out here. Let's put that on there. 387.7 grains left from a 400 grainer. That is absolutely fantastic. I mean, no wonder everybody loves the Swift A-frame. As I stated earlier, only the front core on the A-frame is actually bonded, which allows the non-bonded rear core to expand a little with high enough velocity. And you can see that how the base of this is expanded around there, which, com which is very common on a fully expanded A-frame. And that further increases the effectiveness of this bullet. The A-frame is also extremely reliable it just never falls apart, and it's very stable both in flight and during penetration. You know, first of all, you'll notice that these bullets have a flat base design instead of a boat tail, giving this bullet extreme stability at closer ranges. Remember, flat base bullets stabilize better than boat tail bullets at closer ranges. It also has a profile that's very weight forward, which gives the bullet stability while it's penetrating through the animal. The Swift A-frame is just the gold standard for bullet performance on tough animals where an expanding bullet is required. As great as the A-frame is on dangerous game, it's not as popular among hunters of smaller game. It holds together almost too well on really thin-skinned animals and often pencils through medium-sized game without expanding properly. These bullets also don't have a true aerodynamic spitzer design. You know, I guess you'd call this a semi-spitzer bullet. And it also doesn't have a boat tail on it. So... Shooters don't like the long-range performance of this bullet for animals like mule deer, but that's what the Swift Scirocco is for. Another drawback to this bullet is that you need adequate velocity to get optimal performance with it. In my opinion, the A-frame needs to hit with at least 2,000 feet per second to expand adequately. And I think it needs about 2,200 feet per second at impact to give maximum expansion all the way down to this rear core right here. But this isn't really hard to achieve because most dangerous game is shot well under 100 yards. So your velocity is usually in that area anyway. The last drawback to the A-frame is actually price. A-frames are expensive because of their complex construction and high quality. These bullets are made for life and death situations, and you're going to pay for that. If you're trying to plan a buffalo hunt in Africa, one thing becomes immediately apparent as you shop around for a good professional hunter. African PHs have opinions on bullets that are just all over the place. Some love the TSX, and some PHs hate it. Some love Woodleys, and some PHs don't like them. Most PHs don't like Hornady Dangerous Game Bullets or Nosler Partitions for Buffalo. But there is one thing that they all agree on 100%. They all like the Swift A-frame, particularly when it comes to Buffalo. For almost 40 years, the A-frame has been the prototypical Dangerous Game Bullet. It kills Buffalo without over penetrating and doing collateral damage to the herd. The A-frames are just very easy to load for 
and are extremely accurate in my opinion. The A-frame is also probably the most reliable and well-rounded dangerous game bullet ever made. So when you're planning your next buffalo or grizzly or moose hunt, the Swift A-frame should be among your first choices in hunting bullets.